building projects are how we develop the land around us and harness it for our needs. And it seems that wherever you go, there's a huge development taking place in some form or another. While a lot of these can seem homogenous and almost identical, there are some that are truly unique and push the boundaries of design and practicality in ways that you'd hardly have thought possible. From bizarre shapes to surprising materials and aesthetic choices, join me for today's video. I'm going to explore 15 of the most unusual construction projects. Number 15. The Lotus Temple, India the Lotus Temple, also known as the Baha'i House of Worship, is a stunning structure in New Delhi in India. It was designed by Iranian-Canadian architect Farabur Sabah. The first temple opened in 1986 and has since become one of the most recognizable landmarks in the city. Its design is inspired by the lotus flower, which is considered a symbol of purity and enlightenment in many Eastern religions. And to recreate this, the temple is made up of 27 freestanding petals made of white marble, which are arranged in clusters of three to form nine sides. The structure is then surrounded by nine pools of water, which are intended to reflect its unique shape. This lotus temple is open to people of all religions and beliefs. Visitors are welcome to enter the temple's main hall, which can accommodate up to 2,500 people. The hall is a spacious circular room with a high ceiling and no internal pillars, which allows for unobstructed views of the central platform, which itself is surrounded by nine alcoves that contain quotations from the holy books of various religions, including Hinduism, Islam, Christianity, and Buddhism. Not only is it an architectural masterpiece, but also a place of spiritual significance. The Baha'i Faith, which is the religion practiced at the temple, emphasizes the unity of all religions and the essential oneness of humanity. Visitors to this temple are encouraged to meditate or pray in silence, regardless of their religious beliefs. Number 14. The CCTV Headquarters in China Designed by Dutch architect Rem Kulhas and the Office for Metropolitan Architecture, the CCTV headquarters, which is in Beijing in China, was completed in 2012 and has since become one of the most recognizable landmarks in the city. Costing a reported $1.5 billion, its design is truly unique and striking, with two leaning towers that are connected by a 13-story structure at the top. The towers rise to a height of 768 feet, or about 234 meters, and 636 feet, or 194 meters, respectively, and are linked by a massive steel and glass structure that houses the building's studios, offices, and production facilities. The structure is home to China Central Television, the country's national broadcaster, and the design was intended to reflect the organization's modern, forward-thinking approach to broadcasting and provide a new model for media headquarters around the world. The building's interior is just as impressive as its exterior, with a series of interconnected spaces that create a dynamic open environment. The building's main lobby is a vast circular space that rises up through the center of the structure, providing visitors with an unobstructed view of the building's various levels and functions. Since its opening, it's received numerous awards for its innovative design, including the 2013 Best Tall Building Worldwide Award from the Council on Tall Buildings and Urban Habitat. The building's also become a popular destination for tourists, too, who come to admire its unique design and take in the stunning views of the city from its observation deck. Number 13. The Biblioteca Alexandrina, Egypt The Biblioteca Alexandrina, located in Alexandria, Egypt, is a modern library and cultural center that pays tribute to the ancient library of Alexandria, one of the largest and most significant libraries from history. The current iteration, which was designed by Norwegian architect Snohita and completed in 2002, is a stunning example of modern architecture and a symbol of Egypt's modern-day engineering abilities. The library's exterior is a marvel of design, with a massive granite wall that features letters and symbols from around the world. The wall is meant to represent the convergence of cultures and knowledge, and to pay homage to the ancient library of Alexandria, which was once home to millions of books and manuscripts from across the ancient world. The interior of the library is just as impressive, too, with a vast collection of books and manuscripts in multiple languages, as well as numerous multimedia and interactive exhibits. The library also houses a planetarium, a conference center, and a cultural center that hosts a wide range of events and performances. The Biblioteca Alexandrina has become a vital resource for tourists and scholars alike, with visitors from around the world coming to admire its stunning architecture and explore its collections. The library is also where you'll find a number of research centers and institutes, which focus on a wide range of topics including science, history, and culture, and is host to several cultural events and exhibitions, including the annual Alexandria International Book Fair, which draws people from around the world. Number 12. The National Museum of African American History and Culture, United States 
the National Museum of African American History and Culture is one of the standout structures on the National Mall in Washington, D.C. Designed by renowned architect David Ajaye, the building's exterior is covered in a three-tiered bronze-colored lattice that evokes the intricate ironwork crafted by enslaved African Americans in the South. The facade is made up of 3,600 bronze-colored cast aluminum panels, each with a unique pattern. This lattice is based on the Yoruba people's tradition of wooden screens used in West African art and architecture, creating a sense of continuity between the past and the present. This exterior is meant to draw inspiration from the intricate ironwork made by slaves in the South while also symbolizing a sense of resilience and strength. The overall shape inspired by the three-tiered crowns used in Yoruba sculpture is and was a tricky architectural design to create. The museum is a 10-story structure with five floors above ground and five floors below ground, and its inverted pyramid design allows natural light to penetrate the building's core, with a central area that's open and spacious, and creates a sense of light and openness throughout all of the rooms. The museum's interior is designed to showcase African-American culture and history in a unique and engaging way, with exhibits that are arranged around a central space, at each level with its own theme. Visitors can see an array of artifacts and multimedia exhibits throughout the venue, including a collection of African-American art and music, historic documents, and personal stories. Number 11. The World Islands, Dubai Dubai has become known in recent years for a series of incredibly ambitious construction projects, but the World Islands is surely the most unusual of them all, and are a series of artificial islands arranged in the shape of the continents of the world. It's located off the coast of the city in the Persian Gulf, they were created by pouring sand from the seabed onto a series of large, low-lying platforms, and after first being announced in 2003, construction began in 2004. It is one of the largest and most ambitious real estate developments in the world, covering an area of approximately 3.7 square miles, or over 9.5 square kilometers. The project now has 300 islands that are divided into four categories, private homes, estate homes, community islands, and resorts. They're designed to be a luxurious destination, offering residents and visitors a unique and exclusive experience, and are accessible by boat or helicopter, with each island having its own theme and unique features. It's not just that the islands are arranged in the shape of a world map, with each island representing a different country or region, but each one has been carefully crafted to mimic the terrain and topography of the corresponding country, complete with lakes, hills, and even mountain ranges. The islands have also been designed to be self-sustaining communities too, with their own infrastructures and amenities, meaning you could in theory move to one and never need to travel anywhere unless you wanted to. Number 10. The Basket Building, United States It's not often that you describe an architect as being a complete basket case, but when the Loneberger Company in Canton, Ohio was looking for a designer for their new headquarters, that's exactly what they needed. If you hadn't guessed by now, that's because the company is one of the largest producers and distributors of handcrafted maple wood baskets, along with other household products, and they wanted a building that would really stand out. It seemed obvious back then that the new structure should be in the shape of a giant basket, so in 1997, the 180,000 square foot basket building was ready to open. The exterior was designed to look like it was made from woven wood with windows in the indents, but it was the addition of the handles that really brought the project together. Weighing just under 150 tons, they are, of course, simply for aesthetic value and don't serve any greater purpose, but a significant amount of planning had to be devoted to ensure they would remain in place. They're fitted, for example, with heating filaments that keep the handles warm during the winter, and this prevents them from being damaged by the accumulation of ice. The company that built it moved out in 2016 when it was sold to private investors, and since then it's remained empty apart from occasional tours that are mainly held for the former employees who want to set foot inside there again. There are currently attempts to have the basket building added to the National Register of Historic Places, and the longer plan is to convert it into a luxury hotel. Number 9. Wat Pa Maha Chedi, Thailand Every culture around the world has its own unique styles and methods when it comes to the construction of temples, but Wat Pa Maha Chedi in Khun Han in Thailand is definitely one of the most unusual. Its name means Wilderness Temple of the Great Glass Pagoda, but instead of being made of freshly made glass, this temple was constructed with empty beer bottles. 
the Buddhist monks behind the temple wanted to help deal with the increasing amount of waste being produced in the region and to help educate people about recycling, so they began collecting Chang beer and Heineken bottles in 1984. Built around a concrete core, it took two years to complete the main structure, with the rest being made up of the green and brown bottles. Even the caps were used to make mosaics around the grounds, but even once the temple was completed, they weren't finished. Since then, they've gone on to build a further 20 structures in the same way, with bottles being sent from around the world and even donated by the Thai government. There's also now a crematorium, several prayer rooms, bungalows, a water tower, and bathrooms for visitors, and the site's often heralded as one of the best examples in the world of sustainable architecture. As of 2009, more than a million and a half bottles had been used in the construction of the temple and the buildings around it, and it's now more commonly known as the Temple of a Million Bottles. Unsurprisingly, it's become a popular tourist destination for people who are fascinated by what's possible with the material that so many of us throw into the trash, and there are now plans to look at using bottles in a similar way elsewhere in the world. Number 8. Casabalio, Spain Barcelona in Spain is known for its architecture that spans several different styles, but there's a place in the center of the city that doesn't adhere to any of the norms and instead is unique in its own right. It's known as the Casa Baglio. It was originally built in 1877 and looked like any other building, but it was a series of developments by Antonio Gaudi that began in 1904 that led to its bizarre appearance. It's known locally as the House of Bones because the way it looks almost skeletal, and one of the reasons it looks so different is that every attempt was made to avoid using any straight lines in its external facade. The arched roof with spines is said to represent the back of a dragon, and the turret and cross are meant to signify the sword of St. George who was just thrusted into the beast. The front of the building is separated into three sections. The lower part is wavy and made from sandstone. The middle section is multicolored with balconies, and the upper section is like a huge crown sitting on top of the building. As it's been there for so long, the building is a beloved part of central Barcelona, but you can't help but wonder if it had been built anywhere else, would locals have been so fond of it? Number 7. Valspirala, Germany the Valspirala is an extremely unusual residential complex in Darmstadt, Germany, and it was opened in 2000 with the intent of offering a unique and peaceful space for its inhabitants and visitors. With 105 apartments and a large parking lot, the U-shaped building is around a central courtyard that has a children's playground and its own artificial lake. It was purposefully designed to shun the traditions of straight lines and order in most buildings that you see, and this manifested as a wavy flowing structure that's 12 floors high at its tallest. Amazingly, because of this purposeful aesthetic, no two of the 1,000 windows on the building are the same shape and were each custom designed for their frames. Plant life also plays a big part in its appearance, and along with rooftop gardens, there are trees and shrubs growing around the walls and emerging from some of the apartments, almost as if the trees themselves are tenants. Various colors were used to decorate the exterior, and the building features gilded golden domes and ceramic columns. But the interior is equally as bizarre. All of the handles and light fittings in the apartments are different designs, for example. Meaning, this is most definitely not suitable for anyone who needs to live in a space full of order and continuity. Number 6. The Church of Hatgrima, Iceland Found in the heart of Reykjavik in Iceland, the Church of Halgrima is named after the famous Icelandic poet and clergyman Halgrima Pétersen, who is best known for his religious hymns. It's become an iconic landmark of Iceland, and its design was inspired by the country's unique geological formations, such as glaciers, lava flows, and basalt columns. The architect, Gruyon Samuelsson, began designing it in 1937, but it would take almost 50 years until it was completed in 1986. It's one of the tallest buildings in Iceland, with a maximum height of 244 feet or about 74 and a half meters, and its novel appearance is characterized by its impressive concrete exterior and its unique expressionist design. The church's interior is equally as awe-inspiring, with a series of beautiful stained glass windows that offer a stunning view of Reykjavik cityscape. The church's large pipe organ is also one of its prized features, with over 5,000 pipes and an impressive sound that fills the entire space. Aside from its architectural and artistic value, the church also serves a significant religious and cultural institution for Icelanders. It's a Lutheran church and the main parish church for the city of Reykjavik, and also serves as a venue for various cultural events such as concerts, art exhibitions, and lectures. Number 5. The Dancing House, Czech Republic the National Nederlanden building in the city of Prague in the Czech Republic was first opened in 1996, but because of its unusual design, it's more commonly known by another name, the Dancing House. 
Built on a plot that overlooks the river, the structure is at odds with the Baroque, Gothic, and Art Nouveau architectural styles that you see elsewhere in the city, and it proved to be extremely controversial at first with hundreds of demands for it to be torn down. To create the dancing shape, 99 concrete support panels were used, each of which was a slightly different shape to give the building the wavy appearance. There were two inspirations for the final design. The first was the idea of yin and yang to represent the country's transition from a communist state to a democratic one, and the other was in ode to Fred Astaire and Ginger Rogers, with the concrete building intended to represent Astaire and the glass one to represent Rogers. In recent years, it's become far more popular with locals, and it's even featured on the 2000 Czech Corona coin. After being used as office space for several years, it's now been converted into a hotel and restaurant, and it's one of the most in-demand spaces in the new town region of the city. Number 4. Hang Na Guest House, Vietnam Anyone who's traveled around the world will know that there's a variety of different types of accommodations that you can stay in, from the most luxurious hotels to basic rooms. But there's a guest house in Vietnam that's on a whole different level. Known as the Hung Na Guest House, it's in the city of Da Lat and was designed and built by local architect Dang Viet Na. Instead of drawing blueprints for her structures, she instead gives conceptual paintings to craftsmen who then turn them into structural elements. In the case of the guest house, this has resulted in an organic structure from the outside. It's said to look like a five-story tall trunk of a banyan tree. There are elements within the design that borrows from elsewhere in nature, such as animals, spider webs, caves, and mushrooms, and everything was put together to create a completely unique building. It's just as bizarre on the inside, too, with a labyrinthine network of tunnels and corridors that lead to each of the ten guest rooms. Locals were aghast at the building when it was first completed and began to call it the Crazy House, and while others have since come to love it and refer to it as a fairy tale house, it continues to be so controversial that you'll either love it or hate it. Number 3. The Museum of Tomorrow, Brazil The Museum of Tomorrow is a world-renowned science museum that's located in central Rio de Janeiro. It was designed by the Spanish architect Santiago Calatrava, and it's become one of the most iconic buildings in the city since it opened in 2015. With its unique design, focus on sustainability, and interactive exhibits, making it a must-see attraction for visitors from around the world. The building's aesthetic is one of a kind, with a sleek and modern look that immediately catches the eye. The thing that stands out the most, though, is the almost 328-foot or 100-meter long roof, which resembles the wings of a bird in flight. And it's not only there for visual, but it's also functional as well. It's designed to move, and this allows for natural ventilation and control over the amount of sunlight that enters the building. Inside, the museum is divided into five different exhibition areas, each with a different focus. The Cosmos area, for example, explores the origins of the universe, while the Earth area looks at the planet's ecosystems, and the Anthropocene area examines the impact of human activity on the environment. The Tomorrow and Now areas explore the potential solutions to the changing face as a society, including climate change and sustainable living. The exhibits are highly interactive, using cutting-edge technology to engage visitors and make the experience more immersive, such as the use of a 360-degree projection dome that takes visitors on a journey through time, exploring the past and present and future of the planet. There are also interactive displays that allow visitors to experiment with sustainable living solutions, such as generating their own energy or exploring alternative forms of transportation. This isn't just a place that tells visitors what to do, but also lives up to its own message of sustainability, with the incorporation of several green technologies throughout, including rainwater collection, solar panels, and the natural ventilation system from the winged roof that sustainably reduces energy usage. Number 2. The Great Mosque of Dijene, Mali the Great Mosque of Dijene is an incredible example of West African architecture, and it's one of the most famous landmarks in Mali. It's located in the city of Dijene. This mosque is considered to be one of the greatest examples of Sudano-Sahelian techniques, which are a style that's unique to this region. The mosque's imposing appearance and rich history makes it a must-see attraction for visitors to Mali. It was first built on this site in the 13th century, but the current structure dates back to the early 20th. It's made entirely of mud bricks, which are baked in the sun and coated with a layer of plaster to protect them from the elements, a process that's been used for construction for centuries. The mosque is on a whole different scale to most buildings, though, and holds the record for being the largest mud brick structure in the world, which led to it being designated as a UNESCO World Heritage Site. With its towering walls and intricate details wherever you look, the mosque is built on a raised platform, which is designed to protect it from flooding during the rainy season. 
The three large towers that surround it are topped with ostrich eggs that are said to symbolize fertility and purity. The interior is equally as ornate, with a large central hall that can accommodate up to 3,000 worshippers. The hall is supported by 90 massive pillars, each one of which is decorated with intricate carvings and designs. The walls are also covered in ornate Islamic calligraphy, and the ceiling is adorned with geometric patterns, which is a true testament to those who built it and their faith. Number 1. The Interlace, Singapore The future design and development of communities is a hotly debated topic in architectural circles, and the interlace in Singapore could well be a sign of the directions things will go in the coming years. Designed by the Dutch firm OMA and completed in 2013, it's a radical departure from the traditional high-rise buildings that dominate Singapore's skyline, and instead consist of 31 interconnected blocks that form a series of hexagonal courtyards, creating a sense of community and connection among the residents. The blocks are arranged in a stepped, jagged pattern that creates a visually stunning effect, and the exteriors of the buildings are covered in greenery, giving the development a lush and organic feel. The courtyards between the blocks are filled with trees, gardens, and water features, which aim to create a sense of tranquility and calm amidst the urban bustle and act as common areas that are designed to encourage interaction and socializing among residents, with amenities like swimming pools, fitness centers, and playgrounds. The development also features a number of retail spaces, restaurants, and cafes for creating a vibrant and bustling community hub. Inside the apartments, they're spacious and well-appointed, with large windows that offer stunning views of the surrounding cityscape. And they range in size from one to four bedrooms, with a focus on maximizing natural light and ventilation. The interior spaces are sleek and modern, with clean lines and minimalist decor that create a sense of tranquility and calm. The development's focus on sustainability is also a key feature of its future-looking design, with a number of green technologies including rainwater harvesting and recycling, solar panels and natural ventilation, as well as the greenery on the exterior, which helps to regulate the temperature and provide a natural cooling effect. I'll see you next time. Watch our binge-watching playlist if you'd like to watch all of our most popular top 15 videos. Grab a drink, grab a snack, and get ready to binge.